are going to study the annals school right and i think the first thing to understand is that the annals school is not a person it is not a scholar it is a school of thought a school of thought is a way of thinking right so there are a group of people a group of scholars uh, aman can you see my screen now yes okay great uh, so uh, uh, there is a school of thinking a school of thought bahut sare scholars hai jo is soch ke sath history ko approach karte hain right so the annals school is not one it is many people who share one idea one approach towards history is this clear to you all if so please send me a yes in the chat box kul ek scholar nahi hai ye ek sochne ka tarika hai bahut sare scholars jo hai is tarike se sochte hain to isko ye hai hamare chat okay great um so uh, the name of the school again so n1 नेम time period so in your textbook it will say onset of the 20th century onset ka matlab hai beginning so beginning of the 20th century means 1900 ce because 20th century starts in 1900 right so maybe the those first 10 20 30 years that's when this school of thought started spreading right so 1900 to 1930 you can describe as the onset or the beginning of the 20th century yani ki 20th सेंचुरी के जो 100 साल है उसके पहले 30 साल के अंदर ये सोच आ, आ, क्या बोलते हैं प्रकट हुआ राइट इट बिकेम इट अपियर्ड एंड इट बिकेम फेमस सो सो द मेन आइडिया एंड दिस इज दिस इज सो दिस्ट्री दे हिस्ट्री इज अबाउट नॉट ओनली राइट पॉलिटिकल इवेंट्स किंग्स ग्रेट लीडर्स डिप्लोमेस वॉर्स क्योंकि इफ यू थिंक ऑफ व्हाट न्यूज़ यू हियर दिस इज द मेन न्यूज वी हियर राइट कि एक राजा था ये हुआ लड़ाई हुआ यू हियर अबाउट अ लॉट अबाउट द पॉलिटिक्स एंड जस्ट अ फ्यू इंपॉर्टेंट पीपल सो दे आर सेइंग हिस्ट्री इज नॉट जस्ट अबाउट पॉलिटिकल इवेंट्स अबाउट द किंग्स द ग्रेट लीडर्स द डिप्लोमेसी एंड द वॉर्स बट आल्सो अबाउट थिंग्स लाइक द क्लाइमेट द लोकल पीपल द एग्रीकल्चर trade technology social divisions their collective psychology yani ki history sirf important logo ke bare mein nahi hai aur wo important logo ke kaam ke bare mein nahi hai par aam aadmi ke bare mein mein bhi hai aur aam cheezon ke bare mein bhi hai jaise ki climate right and it is also about the ordinary people the public right aur public kya hai public ka soch kya hai public ka feeling kya hai right what is the emotion of the society at that time in history that is important to capture uh, is that clear to you all i want a yes in the chat box if it's clear to you all <clears throat> great chand khadija aarti ankit visa bhavesh karthik Prachi, Anushka, Alfia, great. So all of these are common names. I'm always happy to see new names, right? And and of course the ones who are answering, please keep it up. Um, and now when I say, right, so ये जो idea है कि सिर्फ इस चीज़ पे नहीं focus करना है, बहुत सारी चीज़ों पे focus करना है. Um, who does this remind you of? Which scholar has said a similar thing? अब तक जो पांच scholar हमने सीखा है, उनमें से कौन से scholar ने ऐसे बात बोला है कि और चीजों को के बारे में लिखो वॉज इट डेकार्ट वॉल्टेर वॉज इट हेगल वॉज इट लियोपोल्ड वॉन रैंक वॉज इट कार्लमार्क्स वॉज इट हु सेड अमिलर थिंग द मो कनेक्शन ओके अनुष्का आंसर इज इनकरेक्ट 
Prachi, your answer is correct. Eating for at least two more answers. The question is, ऐसे सोच ऐसे मेन आइडिया कौन से दूसरे स्कॉलर ने था राइट सिमिलर आइडिया इफ यू डोंट ट्राई यू विल नेवर काइंड ऑफ ग्रो इवन इफ यूर रॉन्ग इट्स ओके अल्फिया थैंक यू फॉर ट्राइंग इट्स इन but i can see why you're saying so some of you call marks i can understand why you're saying that that's the incorrect answer correct alfia come on one more one more student at least 10 more students would be great but at least one more student can try who had a similar idea great correct correct so the answer is voltaire so voltaire the founder of modern historiography unka bhi main idea yahi tha ki we need to expand the understanding of history to more items right? and as school and voltaire have similar thoughts so you need to connect that all right um, so great glad for the students who are trying good keep trying uh, and in terms of books since it is a school of thought the school of thought has not published any book so the book is zero uh, and the impact is um, the impact is that it gave a new direction to history right because in history i'm sure you can understand that traditionally we just learn about important people right gandhi ji ke bare mein gandhi ji ke bare mein hum sikhenge nehru ke bare mein hum sikhenge we learn about these important political figures important leaders and what they did and how that impacted the country or the place they were ruling over uh, but it's also important to understand the people and things like the climate agriculture It's important to answer so that will give you a better idea of things. So that's the NL school of thought. Very reason. Uh, I'm sure we can all agree that that is required. Uh, so that's the NL school. We'll go ahead to the next school of thought, um, and that is uh, feminist historiography. Now I want to just flag this in the very beginning: the idea of feminism. and the idea of feminism in history is a very important idea in your textbook i've said this before i'm just mentioning again to you right aapke navi mein aapne sikha or there was a chapter which perhaps you did not learn i don't remember what i've been informed of but there's a chapter empowerment of weaker sections of society and in the weaker sections of society there is a section uh, uh, that talks about women right and how they are a weaker section of society it is in history ninth standard in political science ninth standard uh, no 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 and then again in history ninth standard you've learned about some acts that have helped women right you've learned about i think the uh, right to property the uh, act against sati sati abolition uh, about uh, what else domestic violence prevention of domestic violence these are some acts right that protected women so idea of feminism and wherever you read about feminism in the history textbook please pay attention for two reasons one is because uh, it is there a lot in your textbook uske pakka ek question aayega jo bhi chapter mein ho agar feminism ke bare mein likha hai pay attention because a question will come in the paper and secondly it is relevant to your life it is relevant to the current day and age 100 so, saal aage jab log hamare is is generation ke bare mein history likhenge to they will speak about how feminism grew in today's day and age right century feminism is growing women are getting empowered that is why it is in your textbook now taki hum aaj jab feminism raha hai jab auraton ko hum empower kar rahe hain unko zyada respect de rahe hain right which is due to them uh, If we are supposed to do that now, we should understand what has happened. That's why we are learning it in history, right? Uh, but do understand that in today's day and age, uh, there is a lot of talk about women empowerment. It is part of our psychology, our public psychology, right? Uh, so it's important. So pay attention to this idea of uh, feminism, right? Uh, both from an exam perspective and from a life perspective. yeah so now the name of this feminist historiography is feminist historiography an important person right in this so again feminist historiography like anal school it is not one person it is many people 
इंपॉर्टेंट फर्स्ट जो 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 लिखा हुआ फेमनिज्म के बारे में और फेमिनिस्ट हिस्टोरिक्राफी हिस्टोरिग्राफी के बारे में वो सिमोन डी बुवा ने लिखा शी वेरी फेमस आई डोंट रिमेंबर हु शी मैरिड टू हु शी इज मैरिड टू बट शी इज मैरिड टू आल्सो अ फेमस स्कॉलर सो शी इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एज एज अ स्कॉलर ओवर ऑल राइट सो डू रिमेंबर हर नेम इफ यू गो ऑन टू स्टडी ह्यूमैनिटीज यू विल लर्न अ लॉट मोर अबाउट हर सो सिमोन सो व्हेन यू थिंक हिस्टोरिग्राफी यू शुड थिंक सिमोन डी बुवा राइट and uh, it started in the late 20th century just to get us back on the timeline idea we learned that annal school the beginning of the 20th century so that's the early 1900s 1900 to 1930 that is the time we are taking now when we look at photography we are seeing it started in the late 20th century so we are assuming that the last 30th years of uh, the last 30 years of the 20th century In seventy to nineteen ninety nine, right? जब twentieth century खत्म होने को आया था, तभी feminist historiography started, right? Uh, it grew. Uh, the main idea of feminist historiography, if we will learn it in the same format as we learned annals school, right? Annals school में हमने कैसे सीखा? We learned it as not only but also. Only political events, kings, great leaders, diplomacy, and wars, but also climate, local people. agriculture trade technology etc etc um so similar to feminist historiography history is about not only focusing on men and their viewpoints but also include and rethinking the male controlled viewpoints maine bade aasan shabdon mein likhne ki koshish ki hai it is written in far better but slightly tougher words in your textbook um the idea is that um pehle women empowered men had all the power men kept all the power and men did not think much of women to so, jab aadmi uh, when men were in power they would write history right so obviously since men were in power mostly men only became scholars right aurate utna padhte bhi nahi the तो सिर्फ आदमी लोग स्कॉलर बनते थे सिर्फ आदमी लोग इतिहास लिखते थे और आदमी का सोच ऐसा था कि इतिहास में वो सिर्फ आदमी लोग के बारे में लिखते थे दे वुड नेवर राइट अबाउट वुमेन दे नेवर इंक्लूडेड वुमेन इन हिस्ट्री सो इफ यू वुड देन रीड हिस्ट्री यू वुड नेवर रीड एनीथिंग अबाउट वुमेन यू वुड ओनली रीड अबाउट मैन सो सिमोन डी बुआ राइटिंग हिस्ट्री वी नीड टू not just focus on men and what their viewpoints are we need to also write about what was happening with women at that time we need to rethink hame fir se sochna chahiye hamare itihas ke bare mein kyunki abhi hamari aitihas aitihasik samajh aur aitihasik soch aadmi ke ke viewpoint se hai right to hame wo fir se sochna padega taki auraton ka viewpoint bhi aa jaye history mein right because the idea is history should give you a complete picture and this male controlled viewpoint of history is not the complete picture and that is also the idea of feminism right it should not be male dominated we should get both sides both genders ka idea um, so that's history uh, that's the feminist idea of historiography um, the books they have are none the b is zero that is there okay so b is not zero there let me just change that Sorry, this B should be zero. Okay, uh, and it had a big impact, right? So the main thing you need to know about feminist historiography is its impact. Um, so after nineteen ninety, yani ki towards the end, towards the last ten years of the twentieth century, women were shown as a separate, independent class. तो जब हम हिस्ट्री के बारे में बात करने लगे, जब हम हिस्ट्री लिखने लगे, right? Nineteen ninety के बाद 
तभी हम औरतों के बारे में एक अलग सेक्शन रखते थे टू गिव देम दैट इम्पोर्टेंस टू गिव देम दैट ड्यू डिलीजेंस की पहले कुछ मैंशन किया नहीं गया था तो अभी हम अलग से मैंशन कर लेते right so so they started mentioning about women separately right as an independent class uh, to give importance uh, and it made history focus on different parts of a women's of a woman's life like her employment her family life her role in the trade union etc so actually women have played an important role in a lot of the revolutions uh, in both india and of course in other countries as well but jab hum हमारे जैसे कि जब हम हमारे इंडिपेंडेंस स्ट्रगल के बारे में सीखते हैं यू डोंट हियर अलॉट अबाउट व्हाट द विमेन डिड सिमिलरली इन यूरोप फॉर फॉर ट्रेड यूनियन मूवमेंट्स एंड अदर मूवमेंट्स दे नेवर रोट अबाउट व्हाट विमेन डिड बट आफ्टर फेमिनिस्ट हिस्टोरियोग्राफी केम अप सो दे री रोट अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स एंड इवन इन द करेंट राइटिंग्स ऑफ हिस्ट्री दे स्टार्टेड मैंशनिंग द रोल ऑफ विमेन राइट कि उनके लाइफ एम्प्लॉयमेंट में कैसा है क्या उनको काम में जब वो काम पे जाते हैं क्या डिस्क्रिमिनेशन होता है उनके साथ यानी कि क्या भेदभाव होता है उनके साथ कि, कि आदमी लोगों को ज्यादा पैसा और तो कम पैसा क्या आदमी लोग गलत बोलते हैं उनको अनकंफर्टेबल फील करवाते हैं ये सब दे स्टार्ट राइटिंग ऑल ऑफ दिस इन हिस्ट्री राइट वॉट वॉज हैपनिंग विद विमेन इन एम्प्लॉयमेंट वर दे गेटिंग not getting jobs what was their role in family life right so what were the pressures of a woman in family life uh, and what were their roles in activism things like trade unions trade union uh, workers ka union hota hai right ki workers agar exploitation ho raha hai jaise karl marx bolte the right ki boss workers ko zyada pay लीव नहीं दे रहा है या बहुत घंटे काम करवा रहा है तो ट्रेड जो वर्कर्स है वो सब साथ में आते हैं और वो बॉस के खिलाफ जाते हैं So, औरतों भी उसमें पार्टिसिपेट किए हैं पर कभी उसके बारे में लिखा नहीं गया था सो आफ्टर फेमिनिस्ट हिस्टोरियोग्राफी के माप दे स्टार्टेड राइटिंग अबाउट दिस सो पार्टिसिपेटेड इन दिस मूवमेंट्स यू लर्न अबाउट सोशल मूवमेंट्स इन पॉलिटिकल साइंस चैप्टर फोर ऑल राइट सो सॉरी अल्फिया हैज सेड एट एट थर्टी एट इट्स लैगिंग कैन यू रिपीट अगेन आई एम सो सॉरी अल्फिया it's is there anything you didn't understand that you want me to repeat alfia okay sorry i was rambling for quite a while so i didn't look at the chat box uh if this is clear to everyone uh please give me a yes in the chat box right feminist historiography kya hai usko yaad karne ka technique not only but also uska very important impact and the name simon de beauvoir should be there great again sorry alfia thank you karina chand chanda आरती निखिल प्राची कार्तिक ग्रेट न्यू नेम्स आर नॉट सेइंग यस अंकित भावेश सो आई गो अहेड द लास्ट थिंग वे गोइंग टू स्टडी और द लास्ट स्कॉलर वी विल स्टडी टुडे हिज नेम इज मिशेल फुको अगेन ही इज फ्रेंच सो ऑल ऑफ दिस ए यू एल टी इज साइल आई मीन इट्स द Silent and so is the L. So it's Foucault, right? Uh, and it's Michel, um, and uh, this is him. So he's the most uh, contemporary kind of uh, scholar. He's French again. So the all three we've learned so far: Annal School, um, uh, Feminist Historiography, Simone de Beauvoir, and Michel Foucault. They are all French. Uh, so is Rene Descartes, the first person we learned about, and so is Voltaire, right? all of these people are french so uh, very interesting man and uh, when we learn about this i'm going to ask a question of, at the end of michel foucault please compare right compare his main idea to all the scholars we've learned so far okay so just do that yeah pronounce the name michel foucault okay say it out loud whenever i say the names you should say it out loud for yourself 
जब तक अपने आप से आप बोलोगे नहीं तब तक याद नहीं होगा और फिर बाद में आप गलत तरीके से बोलोगे थोड़े से हंसोगे आप हाँ गलत से हम बोल रहे हैं बट द पॉइंट इज करेक्टली राइट सो मिशेल फूको हिस्स टाइम पीरियड इज नाइनटीन ट्वेंटी सिक्स टू नाइनटीन एटी फोर राइट सो बिटवीन सो इफ यू रिमेंबर स्कूल वॉज अर्ली ट्वेंटी सेंचुरी फेमिनिस्ट हिस्टोरियोग्राफी वॉज लेट ट्वेंटी एथ सेंचुरी uh and uh michel fuko is in the middle right 1926 to right and um his main idea very interesting main idea he says that history aims to explain the big transitions transition matlab badlav transition matlab changes of the past and ki history ka ye aim hai ki itihas mein jo bade badlav hue hain usko karna hai right this method of studying history he says is called the archaeology of knowledge archaeology ka matlab hai ki purane cheez samajh archaeology of knowledge woh unka thoda fancy way hai kehne ka ki hum hum apne knowledge ko badhane ki jab hum karte hain to it's called the archaeology of knowledge and what he saying basically is hame bahut sare cheezon pe attention nahi dena हमें उन चीजों पे अटेंशन देना है जिसके वजह से बड़े बदलाव हुए हैं हमारे समाज में राइट सो व्हाट आर द बिग चेंजेस दैट हैव हैपेंड इन सोसाइटी इन द पास्ट हाउ डू वी एक्सप्लेन दोज दैट इज व्हाट इज इंपॉर्टेंट इन हिस्ट्री दैट्स व्हाट ही सेइंग एंड ही सेज एंड दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ही सेज द एम इज नॉट टू रीच हिस्टोरिकल ट्रूथ राइट historical truth we don't need to know every detail about everything we just need to be able to explain ki bade bade badlav kaise hue right so i, I remember that he says the aim is not to reach historical truth very clearly that's said in the textbook and he also says there is need for chronological chronological order of historical events he saying chronology pe utna dhyan dene ki zarurat nahi hai बस ये बड़े चेंजेस और बड़े ट्रांजिशंस पे फोकस um, करना है नाउ वेदर वी अग्री विथ हिम और डिस अग्री विथ हिम डिफरेंट थिंग बट व्हेन आई हैव रेड दिस आउट राइट पॉइंट नंबर टू इज द डायरेक्ट ऑपोजिट ऑफ वन स्कॉलर हु इज दैट स्कॉलर ही मिशेल फूको सेज द एम इज नॉट टू रीच हिस्टोरिकल ट्रूथ so who is the scholar who believes in historical truth ab tak ab tak jo humne padha hai chanda incorrect answer it cart chand incorrect answer it is not hegel anushka correct answer i'll wait for a few more correct answers chand correct answer karina incorrect answer it is not voltaire okay alfia the question is which scholar had the opposite viewpoint as point number 2 of michel foucault's main idea michel foucault ka second point hai the aim is not to reach historical truth so which scholar says that the aim is to reach historical truth kartik incorrect answer okay so if you remember leopold von ranke he said that we have to follow the proper methodology we need to check our documents carefully and if we do that we will reach historical truth so jab leopold von ranke ye kehte hain uska matlab hai ki unke man mein historical truth jaise ki ek concept hai par michel fuko keh raha hai ki aise koi concept nahi hai matlab nahi hai ki historical truth pahunchna nahi hai humko hame bas बड़े ऐतिहासिक चेंजेस हुए सामाजिक चेंजेस हुए हैं इतिहास में हमें वो एक्सप्लेन करना है राइट सो दैट्स द डिफरेंस बिटवीन वो एंड लियोपोल्ड वॉन्ट रैंक नाउ दस नेक्स्ट थिंग देर इज नो नीड फॉर क्रोनोलॉजिकल ऑर्डर ऑफ हिस्टोरिकल इवेंट्स 
he's speaking about chronology and he's saying we don't need to focus on chronology uh, which personally i would disagree with because history is about a chronology i but anyway which scholar is he disagreeing which scholar told us ki chronology important hai again i'm waiting for new answers which scholar said ki chronology important hai it is a different scholar the more connections you make the better chanda incorrect it's not voltaire it's not karl marx alfia incorrect come on you need to know who said chronology is important करेक्ट अनुष्का कमॉन बाकी सब बच्चे आई गिव यू अंट इट्स द पर्सन हू कॉन्ट्रीब्यूटेड टू डायलेक्टिक्स ओके आंसर्स chand correct answer so it's hegel right if you remember hegel said he we need to present history in a logical order and then hegel said that logical order is the chronological order right so over here what we need to know and the connection we need we need to make is that michel foucault is with leopold von ranker because michel foucault does not think the aim is historical truth and michel foucault disagrees with hegel because he says that there's need for the chronological order of historical events so uh, that's uh, important right so the more connections you make the easier it becomes to remember right all of these people become like your friends you what their ideas are how they agree or disagree with each other and that helps you know them better so uh, so that's the main idea of all of them uh, and uh, book of his is called the archaeology of knowledge right so based on his method of studying history he wrote a book a lot of our scholars have done this right based on their methodologies they write a book ki ye mera tarika hai mera kitab padh ke aap samjho ki main kya keh raha hu history kaise likhna chahiye history kaise padhni chahiye uh, so this is his book and this is his impact right so in his basically full work he did is that he also studied very very different things right almost weird things but very interesting things um so he did historical analysis of many new topics with his main idea he he did analysis of psychological disorders right so what are the different psychological disorders historically aur humne hamare uske psychological disorders ke ke taraf approach yeah right so um, i won't go into that but he studied psychological disorders he studied the science of medicine right to jo medicine hai yani ki jo doctori aap bolte ho right uh, wo kaise badla time ke sath right so how did the uh, field of medicine of being a doctor how did that change over time and uh, things all in administration ki jail ko kaise chalate hai uska historical changes unhone analyze kiya right because his kind of idea is by looking at these things we can come to know about society we can gain some important insight some important viewpoint some important knowledge of the growth of society the growth of our intelligence over time the big changes right um, and that's michel foucault uh, if i if that's okay and i can go ahead please send a yes in the chat box if you want me to repeat anything please ask you can unmute and ask all right thanks prachi alfia arti chand karina anushka is ki sab i should see just 100 i should see so many yeses that i can't say all of your names that's how it should come yes but it's a positive move overall um all right so to conclude uh we need to come chapter with this idea this idea that historiography ka scope yani ki jo cheez hum history mein include karte hain jo topics hum 
हिस्ट्री में लाते हैं राइट स्टडी फॉर स्टडिंग हिस्ट्री दैट कीप्स ऑन ग्रोइंग एज मोर एंड मोर पीपल स्टडी हिस्ट्री दे पिक डिफरेंट डिफरेंट वेज टू स्टडी हिस्ट्री डिफरेंट डिफरेंट टॉपिक्स टू स्टडी हिस्ट्री एंड दैट इज द स्कोप द स्कोप इज की कितना आप ला रहे हो राइट कितना इंक्लूड कर रहे हो वॉट इज द पोटेंशियल ऑफ लर्निंग इन दैट सब्जेक्ट दैट इज द स्कोप सो दैट विल कीप ऑन ग्रोइंग इट हैज केप्ट ऑन ग्रोइंग ओल्डन टाइम शुरुआत में तो हम सिर्फ भगवान के बारे में बात करते थे और हिस्ट्री उस तरीके से पढ़ते थे कि भगवान ने क्या बोला और उस टाइम से कितने बड़े हैं मेथड बड़ा है कौन से टॉपिक्स हम इंक्लूड करते हैं बड़ा है राइट right? जहां तक हम अभी विमेन एम्पावरमेंट के बारे में बात कर हिस्ट्री में एंड वी आल्सो एनालाइज थिंग्स लाइक साइकोलॉजिकल डिसऑर्डर्स प्रिजन एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन राइट सो द द स्कोप ऑफ हिस्ट्री हैज ग्रोन अ लॉट पीपल एनालाइज हिस्ट्री ऑन मेनी डिफरेंट टॉपिक्स लिटरेचर आर्किटेक्चर स्कल्पचर ड्राइंग एंड पेंटिंग म्यूजिक डांस ड्रामा एंड फिल्म्स all this you learn in the coming chapters and we will learn about historical analysis of all these topics in the chapters ahead right so we learn about all of this in the coming chapters that's the conclusion of the chapter uh, again i'll show you the timeline so just to recap the scholars right we have descartes before the the, the growth of the modern historiography descartes was that first main scholar Uh, during the mid time for the the inception of modern historiography uh, the time of the 18th century voltaire was the prominent scholar after that we had hegel then we had von ranke and marx hegel said ki hegel helped historians believe ki theek hai history alag hai science alag hai right uh, von ranke said ki theek se check karo imaginary imaginary tarike se koi nahi likhega history uh, historical truth hum pahunch sakte hai uh mark said uh that uh, society the uh, his kind is the history of class struggle anal school said not only about great leaders but also about things like climate agriculture and the collective psychology of the people and uh then um foucault said that we just need to observe the major changes in history and agreed with hegel about the importance of chronology he disagreed with von ranke about the existence or the aim of history being to be truth um and he also studied the history of many odd things like prison administration and uh, psychological disorders and medicine and lastly most recently the type of history that has come up is feminist historiography started in around 1970 Uh, Simone de Beauvoir is an important lady in that, and uh, post nineteen ninety, women are listed as an independent class. मतलब they are listed as a separate type of people. They are given that importance, and they are written about in history, right? And since then, feminist historiography has been here. Uh, so this is just a recap of all of the eight scholars we or uh, eight types of historiography we've learned about. And what I just want to leave you with is this. right i want you to make connections this is something you should be able to do if you do this thought exercise right chapter padhne ke baad ya abhi bhi agar aap ye koshish karoge aur aap ye kar paoge to you know the chapter well right there is a feeling you get when you know something well and that is when you connections in the chapter across chapter you should know it inside and out right uh, that is the level of expertise of master or it will make you feel confident right uh, so learn the chapter well try to make these connections which scholars have written books kaun se logo ne likha hai books kaun se logo ne nahi likha hai books kaun se logo ne impact banaya kaun se logo ne impact nahi banaya to aapko yaad karna hai kaun sa i0 hai kaun sa b0 hai um which scholars focus on evidence so the straight forward answer over here you should come to know it is descartes and von ranke right uh which scholars focus on chronology which don't so we already know hegel says chronology uh this uh, foucault says uh, chronology is not important i think also voltaire said chronology is important um and uh which scholars focus on historical truth von ranke foucault says no which scholars expanded the scope of historiography um anal school and voltaire right and which 
scholars are not scholars a feminist historiography and annals too right uh, so those are the answers to those questions you should be able to do this independently for this chapter for other chapters as well um, and we are now done with the chapter so when you look at the chapter you should look at it like this introduction mein mujhe chat cheez sikhne hai next thing three things i need to know next thing five things i need to know next thing three things and notable scholars there are per scholar i need to know each scholars ntmdi right so five things i need to be able to address for each scholar and uh, yeah that's all this is your homework if you have not already and most of you have not already done this complete the ntmdi for all scholars just see agar aap textbook pad